let's see what happens to the energy of a system when we have a pendulum and we pull the bob back by a certain distance so that its maximum displacement position is over here and it swings back over to this maximum displacement position overshooting the equilibrium position and then it swings back and forth and back and forth so if we construct a energy versus displacement graph, it would look something like this. The energy can be plotted on the y-axis, and our displacement would be on the x-axis. So these two points can be the maximum displacement positions. So this point would correlate with this position of the pendulum, and this point would correlate with this position. And let's assign colors to the kinetic and potential energies. So our blue line will be the kinetic energy line and our green line will be our potential energy line. So let's take a look at what happens at the maximum displacement position first. So here it's going to have a velocity of zero because if you think about it, the bob is changing direction at this point. So we pulled it back here and now it's gonna try reversing its direction to swing back over to this position. And if we define the bob moving to the right as having a positive velocity and the bob going to the left as having a negative velocity, then obviously it would have to cross zero at some point when it's switching direction. So since the velocity is zero at the maximum displacement position, then kinetic energy is also going to be zero. So at this maximum displacement position and this maximum displacement position, kinetic energy will be at zero and our potential energy will then be at its maximum value because it has all of this potential to swing back in the opposite direction. So potential energy would be up here. All right, now let's analyze what would happen in the direct middle of the pendulum. So in this position, the gravitational potential energy would be at zero because the ball has reached its lowest possible point and it can't go down any further. So we'd plot this on the graph like this. And since all of this potential energy has been then converted into kinetic energy, according to the conservation of energy concept, we can't gain or lose any more energy. So the amount of kinetic energy would have to equal the amount of potential energy that was there at its maximum displacement position. So connecting all of these dots would give us a graph that looks something like this. And this graph can be applied to springs too. So if we had a spring with a mass attached to the end of it, and this was the equilibrium position, if I pulled the mass back by a certain distance, then it would have its greatest amount of spring potential energy at the maximum displacement position. Because the spring is stretched out, it's gonna want to recoil back to its original position but then it tends to overshoot it and become compressed. So here at the equilibrium position, the block is going so fast that it can't stop because kinetic energy is at a maximum and potential energy is now at zero. It's gonna move back and that's gonna end up compressing the string or spring. And then the block is going to want to move back to the maximum displacement position and over and over again.